Hi guys, Brittany here from Penny's and <laughs> Hi guys, Brittany here from Penny's and the Pearls. And on today's video, we are doing what you guys asked. You were asking for some tips and price points on goods and baking goods and things for you to be cooking for this holiday season. So we're gonna be taking you around. We're here at Superless, which is a Kroger family chain. So I have my shopping buddy here and we're gonna go around all these different prices for you guys kind of show you what are some good price points so you're not overspending when you're preparing to make all this food for the holidays showing you both bulk pricing and then also just really good prices that you want to look for when you're just at the grocery store um, at your normal grocery store the reason being is not everyone has space to store bulk groceries so this is a good option um, for when you are short on storage space, kind of like us. And then, but I will also be showing you guys um, price points for things that we buy in bulk. Now, one of the first things you're gonna do before you head out to the grocery store is you're gonna wanna check your favorite rebate, your favorite rebate apps. Mine would be Ibotta, and then the other one is Checkout 51. It's so easy, all you have to do is scroll through the list, check out what, avail what items are available for rebates, then as you're shopping, purchase the items, take them home, upload your receipt, and just like that, you get cash back. So that's another way to save on top of these already amazing price points that we're gonna be talking about. And then one of my favorite things about using these apps, you guys know, is that you can get cash back, just like um, you can redeem it through PayPal, but then also you can get gift cards like to the movies, and then places like Target, and then within a month, you will have enough money to maybe go and buy like a little shirt or a little something, which is so fun. Now, one thing you guys are gonna need to know about is how to calculate the price per item, per unit, per pound, things like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick so that way you are making sure that you are getting the best price. Okay, so to use the example of this flower, it is a five pound bag of flour and it's on sale for $1.79. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take the price divided by the weight or the units or the um, item number. So we're gonna do 179 divided by five, since there's five pounds, and that's gonna give us the price per pound, so that's about 36 cents per pound. So now you know the price that you wanna shoot for when you're comparing to other sales. And this price right here, actually 179 for a five pound bag of, bag of flour is a really great price for flour. So now let's go around and check out some more um, price points for your holiday cooking. Okay, so let's start talking about price points for sugar because if you're doing any sort of holiday baking, you are gonna be needing some sugar. So for powdered sugar and then also for brown sugar, if you're looking at the two pound bags, you're, I usually don't pay more than $1.50 per bag. So you can do the math and get that down to one pound and if you're buying bulk then that is also then you're gonna take that price um, and multiply it out by um, the size that you're buying to figure out what price point you want to look for. Then for just your regular granulated sugar you were looking for about a dollar per two pounds. If you're looking to buy yeast, if you're making bread, cinnamon rolls, things like that, definitely you're gonna want to buy in bulk. If you go over to Costco I'll show you guys much better pricing on that. Marshmallows, our favorite thing to make with marshmallows would be Rice Krispie treats but there's lots of other treats. Price point that you want to look for those are about a dollar a bag and each bag is 10 ounces. So a dollar a bag is your price point for marshmallows. So let me just make it a little bit more clear that these prices that we're gonna be talking about today are not couponing prices. These are just bottom line sale prices. You don't need any coupons to be looking for. And then if you can stack those rebate apps on top of it, it's just gonna make it even that better of a deal. Let's talk about chocolate, shall we? So chocolate chips. So these bags right here, this is a 36 ounce bag. And then this one over here is a 24 ounce for the semi-sweet um, chocolate. And you can see those prices there, but what you're gonna be wanting to look for when it comes to prices on chocolate chips is about a dollar per pound. Okay, now if you're looking to buy nuts, if you're making any sorts of brittles or 
anything yummy that involves almonds, cashews, pecans, and then we're gonna also be talking about dried fruit like cranberries, things like that. Your very, very best price is gonna be at the bulk section. So we'll take a look at those pricing over at Costco. You can see here for just two ounces, it's about $2.19 for just the two ounces. If you're gonna be using um, boxes, like cake mixes, brownie mixes, things like that, your price point on those is gonna be about a dollar a box. Never pay more than a dollar a box for brownies or cake mixes. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about soups, prices on soups, so that's gonna, and then broth. So broths, and then any like cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, all of those things. Your price point that you're gonna be wanting to look for on that is about no more than 65 cents per can. If you don't see these prices now, you definitely will be seeing them soon with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, but, um, you can find those prices in the grocery store, but they're pretty much always over at the bulk stores like Costco. Pastas and pasta sauces go on sale all the time. You can see here for a dollar per box, and those are usually around a pound a box, and then a dollar per jar of pasta, which if you're not gonna be serving them for the holidays, they are great to just have on hand for those nights where you are tired of cooking because you've been cooking all day, getting ready for the holidays. These are nice to have on hand for that. Okay, so now let me show you a few things that you're definitely gonna wanna make the trip to the whole food, for the to the bulk stores to purchase. One of those things is gonna be heavy whipping cream. You can see here for just one quart, it is $4.99 for just one quart. So I'll show you guys the prices over at Costco and it's way cheaper. Eggs are something that you can usually find for about a dollar a dozen. Um, if you can't find them at your grocery store, definitely at Costco. So raise your hand if you totally love bacon as much as I do, especially during the holidays. We try to incorporate it into a lot of different dishes. So if you are um, looking to buy some bacon, your price point you want to look for is $2 a pound or less. So you can see that this is 48 ounces, so that's three pounds of bacon for $11, making this over $3 a pound. So we're going to be looking elsewhere to buy some bacon today. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about purchasing meat for your holiday cookies. So if you are doing a full on meal, meat is going to be probably your highest um, priced item that you are going to be cooking. So you will find cheaper prices at your local grocery stores usually than the wholesale or than Costco, but what I like about Costco's meat specifically is that it's always really high quality. Even though you're going to be seeing lower prices at your grocery store, the quality at Costco is going to be much better. to get some bulk pricing for you guys so you guys know what prices to look for when you're shopping to for your cooking extravaganza this holiday season making sure you don't overpay and you can stay in budget okay so here are all of the prices that they have here at Costco for their meat and like I said the pricing here is gonna be a little bit higher than you would see at your local grocery store but the quality of meat here is really really good. $5.29 for a chuck roast is a really 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 um, great price and then also $5.49 for a, um, a tri-tip roast is also a really good price to look for. Now one other thing that you're definitely going to want to look for when you're here at Costco are all of their paper goods. You get a really a lot of paper goods at a really really great price. And again you can be sure that they're really high quality and heavy duty just really good product um, when you're shopping here. These are the plates that we always buy, the um, Hefty Diamond Premium Strikes paper plates. And the awesome thing about Costco is that it will tell you um, the per unit or per count price. So this is 100 plates, it's $9.66 per 100 plates. So if you compare that to these more flimsy plates, you'll see that it's 209 per 100 plates. But everyone's gonna be using like five of them, so not <laughs> the best deal. One little frugal tip for you guys when you are shopping for your paper goods is go for the smaller size. When you are giving um, big giant plates to your guests, they're going to fill them and then they're not going to eat all that food. 
so you might as well just give them the smaller plates. And you can see here, for 100 count, it's $6.20. Now, if you think that you're going to be using all of these forks, spoons, and knives, definitely a great price here. It's $9.79 for a 500 count of each. So, if you go through that many, or if you're serving like a big church party or something, definitely worth the investment. Otherwise, you might want to just buy smaller coffees at other stores. Okay, so these are one thing that I'm always, 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 I'll come straight to Costco if I need these at all. They are the foil tins. There's 30 of them for only $6. So you can see that is an awesome price because even if you get the ones from the Dollar Tree, which I've done before, they're not as good quality and you get like three for a dollar. So that's going to add up to $10 for the same amount. Really great price on these. Another thing that I'm always buying at Costco are their things like the parchment paper, foil and plastic wrap, always really great prices because you're going to be paying for um, at least a quarter or at most a quarter of the same product with these parchment paper for um, a little, for close to the same price. So always really great deals if you're looking for those type of items to store your leftovers and send home food with your guests or for baking. Love the parchment paper. And then, if you want to get a little bit more fancy, these disposable plates, you get 50 plates, and they're really nice looking, and a lot of times, before you even like pick them up, you wouldn't even be able to tell that they were disposable. Um, and then same thing with these really nice um, disposable silverware. You can see the pricing up here, and they're actually on sale right now through the 17th of November. So if you are watching this, you might want to run out and get those if um, you, that's the look that you're going for with your holiday meal. Okay, here is the heavy cream. I will make a special trip to Costco just to get this deal. It's for 64 ounces, $9.89 for a 60 ounce, 64 ounce carton. So that is a really great price on um, heavy whipping cream. One thing I can almost always, always, always count on having the very best price here at Costco would be the butter. Burr, is it cold in here, buddy? Burr, it's so cold. Um, the butter, and you can see here that you get four pounds for $8.99, which is about $2.25 per pound, which is a little bit higher than the $2 mark, but I can guarantee that um, if that's the price here at Costco, it's probably gonna be more at other stores um, if you're shopping at the same time. And then you can see here for the five dozen eggs, it is $4.99 per, um, per five dozen, which a little under a dollar a dozen. So always really great price on those. One dollar per dozen is the price you're looking for. Okay, so here is the current pricing on bacon here at Costco. You can see that you get four pounds for about ten dollars, making it about two fifty per pound, which is not a horrible price, but we're still looking for closer to two dollars per pound. Now this is my aisle. I love baking, especially during the holidays. So I totally stock up when it's the holiday season here in the baked baking aisle. Look at this, you guys. I've never noticed this cocoa powder before here at Costco. So it's 25 ounces, so that's about double what you would get at the little containers at your local grocery store. But look at it, it's $5.99 for that, and where you're gonna buy be paying. Um, about four dollars for half of that. So that is a really great price on cocoa powder. Next time I need that, I'm stocking up here for sure. Okay, so do you guys remember I was telling you that you should be buying your um, nuts and things like that here at Costco? This is exactly why. So check out what an amazing deal this is. So for the walnuts, it is $6.99 for two pounds of walnuts, making it $3.49 per pound. If you remember when we were over at um, Food for Less, it was about $2 for two ounces. So if you divide this $3.49 by 16, because there's 16 ounces in one pound, that makes this about, I think I calculate around like 30 cents per ounce. So making what we were going to pay $2.50, only 60 cents. So this really great deal if you're looking to buy any nuts for your holiday baking or cooking. Now here is the bulk pricing on all of your sugars and flours, which again, it's gonna be the best price, but you're gonna need room for the storage. So let me show you for um, this 50 pound bag of sugar, it's 20, about $26, making it only 50 cents per pound. So that is a really, really great deal, and you're gonna find the same great deals over with the flour, but you just need to make sure that you have room to store it and that you're gonna be using it before it goes bad. But then look here, you can get a 10 pound bag of sugar 
for $4.69, making it about uh, 47 cents per pound. So buy that bag. You don't need a ton of storage and really great price. These Martin Nally sparkling ciders are always really, really fun to have for the holidays, especially like New Year's and things like that. But you can see here you get a package of four of them for $7.99, making them about $2 a bottle. I think you can get them a little bit cheaper um, when the holidays get a, a little bit closer, but um, still a really great price. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about the dried fruit. Really great prices. Oh, he wants me to do this. <laughs> so um, let me show you the prices on these real quick. Okay, so let's take a look at the pricing for these craisins. So it is 64 ounces for $8.89, which is a really, really great price because just for 16 ounces at the grocery store, you can be clo paying close to five to um, five to seven dollars per pound. So really great prices on this. And then you'll find similar pricing for all the other dried fruit, like um, dried blueberries and dried cherries and things like that. So perfect for your holiday recipes. Now, if you remember that our price point for um, broths and stocks and things like that is about 65 cents um, each can. So you can see here that you get 12 14 ounce cans for $5.99, making them only 49 cents, about 50 cents a can. So really great price if you're already here and um, you can pretty much guarantee that that price is always going to be that way when you come here. Okay, so that is all of the items. Hopefully I was able to cover a majority of the items that you're gonna be using um, with your baking and cooking this season. I know there's a lot more out there, but I obviously can't cover all of them. Sorry, you guys, but hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, right bud? Thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel because this is the type of thing that I do here on this channel, helping you guys find ways to save money any way possible so you can spend it the way you want to and live your dream life on less. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah. Waiting in line to pay for a at Costco. Thank goodness they have these really cool fans here so we can be entertained while we're waiting. Pretty hey. cool. Yeah. And here's a behind the scenes, never before heard tip on when you're monthly grocery shopping. You have all of these groceries. Don't forget to empty out your trunk. Um.